Where are the humans in this? Eventually, our school districts and their communities are going to feel pressure from parents, or from the community and, and industry to say, hey, send me some students who are ready to do this work that we have at our disposal. We knew we had to change due to society, to our children. We have everything that we need, so why can't we make a big jump? If you make it a normal part of their everyday life, it's like breeding, then it becomes second nature. So STEM professional learning should be instinctual. I'm not gonna say it's easy. Our six-year-old is going to design a model. What is a model? We as educators must understand that students' engagement, them being hands-on, them being involved in their learning, that's where we capture them. That's where we keep them, and that's where they really learn to explore whatever the content area is. Because if the student is engaged, they don't have time for those negative behaviors. We always want to increase and build on those positive behaviors. One of the things that's an existing perception that's not true is that Suffolk Public Schools is not a great school division. That's false. It's a damn lie. I feel like when I was younger in elementary school, they only asked the smart kids to be in STEM, not the kids who were bad and like, you know, get bored in class. And they should have did that because STEM is more hands-on. It would have helped the kids that, you know, got bored because they would have been doing experiments and stuff. So not just incorporating the smart kids, should have tried to show STEM to everyone back then. Yeah. 